Hi, everyone. My name is Paul Kufalis. I'm the president of White Star Software, and we're here to talk about the top 10 reasons you should use ProTop. And I guess the first question I have to ask is, from the people here I don't necessarily know, do you, have you ever heard of ProTop? Yes, yes, yes. Do you use ProTop? No, no, no. Okay, this is what we're going to try to change. Libor, do you use ProTop? Secretly? Probably no one does. Yes, good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, about me, I have been an Open Edge DBA since 1994. If my math is correct, that's 30 years. I really don't believe that I've been doing this for 30 years. I just, I do the calculation. I actually go into the calculator because I don't believe it's been 30. You guys don't even look like you're 30 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. 29 for me on October. How was that? 29 for me on October. You were a you were a, a twinkle in your mother's <laughs> eye. And I was repairing a DBRPR database in Quebec City at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so, so disclaimer, this is a commercial session. We are trying to sell you something. Uh, it's ProTop is a commercial monitoring package. There is a free version, ProTop Real-Time, uh, that's available. And if you'd like a demo or if you'd like to learn more about the commercial version for your business, please come and see us at the booth, get some t-shirts, and we'll go into uh, more details there. All right? So first things first, I just want to talk a bit about who we are in terms of White Star software and, and what exactly is this ProTop monitoring and a learning tool that we're going to talk about today. And then we'll do our top 10 countdown uh, of the top 10 reasons. Good. So first things, who is White Star Software, right? So we've been, we've been around for over 30 years. We've always been DBAs, open edge. We started as developers with John Campbell, some names you might have heard of in the open edge ether here. Uh, but we've been in the open edge world since forever. In fact, do we even know what, what year was White Star Software Incorporated? It's like 87? 85. So yeah, that gives you four. So going on 40 years that we've existed. And, and really what we've done is we've, we've taken our services and our knowledge and we've kind of distilled it down to this very simple thing. We simplify the job of managing and monitoring the world's best open edge applications. And so a lot of the people you'll see here in the room, they're using ProTop today to monitor and to help manage their open edge applications. And that includes end users and application partners alike, right? Application partners really like ProTop because it gives them visibility into all of their customers, right? And if you're an end user, you've got one production environment, you get great visibility into that production and dev, test, QA, and so on and so forth. So this is really what we do. And like I said, over 30 now going on 40 years. And I think the other thing that's really cool about working at White Star Software is that we have customers all over the world. So before COVID, we used to get to travel. Now we do everything remote. Um, but we get to see customers in all industries of all sizes. Like our largest customer is, I don't know, 15,000 concurrent users. And our smallest customer is 10 concurrent users, right? So we have customers across all of all of the spectrum and, and ERP and CRM, and they make all kinds of things or they distribute things or they sell services. We really have all kinds of customers with all kinds of problems. And it's, it, it's just a lot of fun because you get to see a lot of different things in a lot of different countries. And, and you're just marveled at, like, even if you forget about the open edge side of things, you marvel at how some companies build things you know you just take anything take the shirt on your you know this shirt and if you went to the place where they manufactured it and you saw how they did it and how they've streamlined the process and you're like wow like holy moly whoever thought it was that complicated that efficient that you know involved to, to to do a shirt or to do a lanyard or whatever it is and you go to you get to visit these places and learn all of these cool things right and that's some of the fringe benefits. But in, in terms of 
Protop, what it really means is we get to see so many different things that we don't have a narrow vision of what open edge should be. We've got this really great broad vision of how all these different kinds of people and different sizes and different uh, businesses use uh, open edge. And we've pretty much presented at every progress conference or major pug event since I don't, I don't even know, like, I mean, I've been presenting nonstop since the late nineties, early two thousands. You've been presenting since forever. So we've, We've pretty much presented at everything for the past 20, 30 years. All right. And why work with us? So the first thing is, well, we are the open edge technical operations expert, right? Again, because of all of that experience we have with all these different size of customers, we really have this broad perspective when it comes to supporting open edge environments. And we're fiercely independent, right? I inherited that from my colleagues, Tom and Adam, who inherited that from John Campbell before that. We are really fiercely independent. And what that means sometimes is we're going to tell you something that you don't want to hear. And we've gotten pushed back <laughs> when we say things to C-level executives that they don't want to hear. But that's what you pay us. You pay us to tell you the truth and to tell you what we think you should do to, to fix your environment. We smile. <laughs> and we don't nickel and dime. I mean, one of the first things you'll learn when you're working with us is we always tell everyone when you work with us, nothing is billable unless we tell you it's billable. And why do we do that? Because we don't want you to be scared to call us because you think that if you send us an email with a question, your boss is going to get a, uh, an invoice for $42.50 because I answered an email. So what that means is, 99% of our customers, we invoice them once a year for their ProTop subscription. We talk to them every month. We help them every month, but we only invoice them one time for their subscription. And that really leaves the lines of communications open. No one is scared to call us because we're going to invoice them for every stupid little thing, right? In fact, our consultants are incentivized not to invoice. Nobody wants to do the paperwork of invoicing for $42, right? So we just don't do it. And you can see from the fact that we're here at every conference, you know, I think between our team, we're giving eight or nine or 10 different workshops and, and presentations. So you can see we love to teach. We're mentors first. We don't want to come into your business and replace you. We don't want to come into your business and do the work for you. We want to come into the business and say, hey, look, this is how we're going to do something. Come with us. Let us show you how we're going to do the work here. Okay. And of course, someone texted me. I'm just going to stop this. Otherwise, it's going to beep indefinitely. Thank you very much. Good. That's done. Of course, someone always calls and texts when you're in the middle of these things, all right? And, and I think the thing that I'm most proud of is that when we do do work with you, we like to do the entire job. We don't finish at 99%. So we help you plan the work. We document all the steps. We work with you to execute all of the steps. And then we finish, which is, I think, where a lot of people that you've probably worked with in the past fail like when it comes to the end to finish the documentation or to wrap up the last two or three little things people tend to be bored and go off into the sunset we, we like to finish what we start and I, i'm really proud of that that we do that kind of work right and it's really really important for us and what is protop we help you can see this we prevent downtime we increase performance we help increase performance and really we help lower costs especially for application partners, for hosting partners. Whether you're in the cloud, you're on-premise, or you've got some kind of hybrid environment, more and more end users and application partners are using ProTop to streamline their applications, which in turn leads to lower costs necessarily. All right? And better performance. I mean, lower costs and better performance. And, and, and what is ProTop? It's the only commercially available monitoring tool that was designed and written specifically for open edge. So a lot of, in fact, everyone we ever talked to already has some kind of monitoring in place. They've got Zabbix, they've got PRTG, they've got solar winds. They've all, everyone's got something already that they're using. Some are using open edge management. 
uh, like I could ask you guys, are you are you monitoring your open edge environment today? What are you using to monitor? Uh, a commercial version of Nagios. A commercial version of Nagios, which really means that you took Nagios as a framework and you wrote a bunch of scripts, which you plugged into Nagios, right? And and that's what you're using to monitor open edge. So really what we do, we see that everywhere. Everyone has the same exact thing. So what we do here is we say, instead of having all of these kind of piece by piece things that cover piece by piece, one little element here and there that you're monitoring with ProTop, we've already seen it all. We've already done it all. And as we grow and as we monitor more environments every day, we're seeing new things and learning new things and all of that's being integrated into ProTop. All right, um, over a thousand open edge related metrics that, that we that we monitor and, and really, really good. And this is really thanks to Tom, who's sitting in the back, really, really good alerting with excellent noise reduction. And, and if you get a million alerts from Nagios today or PRTG or Zabbix, you know that noise reduction is one of the most important things. And ProTop is really, really good at noise reduction. All right. And at the end of all of this, really what you're getting is our expertise, but at a fraction of the price of hiring us to, to come in and do consulting work for. All right. What ProTop is not is a management tool. So ProTop by design doesn't quote unquote do anything. You can't start a database. You can't stop a database with ProTop. That's not what ProTop does. There's tools like Open Edge Management or open edge command center that are built to do that, right? Or people will script that into their own tooling. And we're not a managed database service. We're not here to come in and, and run your deep database. We don't have the bandwidth. We don't have the people. All of the consulting work that we do is really, we come in, we help do a particular project, and then we get out, right? We're really not hugely involved in people's day-to-day -day operations other than as uh, you know as support right again those open lines of communications we were talking about earlier we want you to email us and call us whenever you have a question we want to keep those lines of communications open but again the goal is always to teach you what the solution is as opposed to coming in and and executing the solution for you right and and there's a couple of mdba guys here if you need managed services someone to help you with more hands-on work, they're much better, uh, much better at it than we are, really. They have the bandwidth. How many DBAs are you guys now? 20 something? All right. Just 20. 20, so, right? So they got a team of 20, which is much bigger than our team. Good. So who uses it ProTop in Europe? Here is just some of the names that we got here from uh, companies that are using ProTop. And, and across the top is partners. So, you know, you know, Consulting Works, DBA Works, that's Simon, MIP in South Africa, uh, Bbits, I won't try to actually uh, pronounce that <laughs> German Austrian name on the far right. But a lot of, a lot of uh, partners are using uh, application partners, service partners, LIT in Germany are using ProTop, not just to manage their environments, but to manage their customers' environments and to monitor their customers' environments. And around the world, currently we're sitting at about 1,100 customer sites that have ProTop installed, uh, almost two petabytes of data. And this number is low now. I think we're pushing 10,000 databases today that are being monitored by ProTop all around the world. We have 22 or 23 ProTop web portals deployed all over the world. So we like to deploy our web portals either locally at the customer site for, for customers that are more security minded. <laughs> You're trying to throw me off, Martin. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we also geolocate, right? We use AWS. So for our customers in Australia, we've got three or four portals in Australia. We have multiple portals in Europe and, of course, portals North America, Africa. So we geolocate the portals closest to the customers if we can. And over the, again, over the years, that's 22 or 23 portals that are, that are deployed right now. And at last count, about 350,000 
connected users at the peak of if I did kind of the max sum across all of our customer sites. So quite a bit. I don't think there's any other tool out there that monitors as many open edge databases, open edge environments than Proton. All right, let's do the top 10 list. And since I knew this conference was going to be all about AI, what did I do? I went to ChatGPT and I said, would you create a realistic photographic quality image of a bored, goth female teenager sitting in a casual setting, looking at her phone with visual disdain because, you know, a teenager has to have visual disdain on their face. And the screen says, well, the steam was supposed to say the top 10 reasons to use Proton. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, this is why we pay ChatGPT $23 a month, right? So we can, so we can create these kinds of images. The, the funnest thing is to try to get ChatGPT to create an image that it's not allowed to create um, simply by, look at this, okay, and now the phone is ringing here, uh, is not allowed to create. But if you keep asking it in different ways, sometimes you can get around its, uh, oh, uh, my content doesn't allow me to do that. But what if you do this instead? Oh, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> but I thought I'd, I like this goth teenager. Good. All right. Any questions before I go down the list? We're good? Excellent. Number 10, a pro top is very, very inexpensive. All right. I mean, most the average uh, downtime cost is about two hundred and eighty-five thousand euros per hour, and you could be somewhere less than that. You, we have customers where it's a lot more than that per hour, um, but you can calculate it yourself, right? There's a million online calculators. If you Google, you can put in some financial numbers from your business and calculate what the downtime cost is. And really the important thing to remember here is there's no more paper, right? There's, there's no more paper. So like if your system is down and you lose orders or you don't invoice something or you don't ship something, it's not like the old days, oh, well, we'll just take the pile of papers and re-enter them. There is no pile of papers. You have no clue where that information is or was or how to replay it. If it's if at all possible, right? And so that one hour of downtime is is literally the cost of ten years of Protop for a bunch of you. So what does that mean? It means like if Protop can help you prevent one hour of downtime per decade, then Protop is essentially free. And if it if it helps you save two hours of downtime, you got a hundred percent rate of return on your on your pro top investment so when you know people look at the cost of pro top of course everyone is cost conscious but you have to look it's like you have car insurance you have home insurance you have insurance for your business you have all of these things that you put in place because the cost of the event is much much higher than the cost of the prevention we're hoping here that, well, everyone knows they need prevention, right? We all, we all know we need to lose a little weight because the doctor told us that. Don't look at me like what, that. Why are you <laughs> <laughs> right? But it's not until you have the bloody heart attack that you're like, oh, yeah, maybe we should actually lose some friction. Yeah, oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. He's in charge of MDBA. This is the kind of advice they're giving, you see? <laughs> All right, number nine. You really need ProTop for migrations. Is, is anybody here going through AIX to Linux or on-premise to cloud migrations, right? You really, really need the data in ProTop. We have been called in, I don't know how many times, to migrations that were a disaster, migrations that got rolled back. We get called after the fact, oh, it doesn't work, can you help us, you know? And, then, and we see what the problem is with ProTop often, and, and the problems could have been prevented if you had the data before you migrated. Especially going now, a lot of our customers are doing AIX to Linux, right? And they're in the middle of that migration, and you need that data because you cannot translate AIX CPUs and, and, well, to Linux CPUs, essentially, right? It's, everyone thinks the AIX CPUs are much faster. These P-series, oh my God, they are not faster, right? So you, you have to be careful. And really, 
you could end up overbuying CPU and underbuying disk, which is what we see quite a bit. And this is what you want to avoid. You need the data. You need to know what you need to buy before you migrate, right? And now we're working with a partner who's migrating their entire data center, like from AIX to Linux, right? So they're hosting their customers and they're moving from AIX to Linux and we're helping them control their, their spending on their new Linux boxes because we have the data. We know what they need in terms of hardware going from AIX to Linux, and they're able to use the data from their AIX history to help them make decisions about what hardware to purchase on the Linux side of things. All right, number eight, having years of historical data at your fingertips is amazing. And we sample data every minute, which means when you're looking at the ProTop web portal, uh, you're looking at data that's one minute old maximum, essentially. And having this one minute or one year of data at your fingertips is a lot of fun. You get used to it really, really quickly. Just to be able to say, I just put something into production on Sunday. Let me look at what changed. Oh, reads in the order table went from this level to this level. All right, here's an alert from ProTop tells you which program and which line of code is doing those now crazy reads in the order table. Let's send it back to development so we can roll back the change, fix the change, and then deploy the, the corrective action, for example, right? And we have all of that for every table, for every index, for every lob. And we also track the growth of the table and the index and the lob. So if you all of a sudden see, you know, if for those that were in Dimitri's, uh, talk just before he was he was he had an example of this where all of a sudden the table started growing like crazy and the reason was because a developer did something stupid right and you catch that in protop and you're able to go back and say well what did you do oh here's the alert from protop here's the number of record creates that exceeded a threshold i generated alert here's the code that did it what did you change in this code oops sorry and then you again you know, doing that root cause analysis automatically, getting you the source of the problem automatically so that you can jump back and correct it quickly, really one of the key factors of, of Proton. And, and helping you predict future disk requirements, right? So you're doing your budgeting at the end of the year and you're like, well, how much more disk am I going to need next year? So Proton will, will extrapolate your growth over three months, six months, whatever, a year. So you can predict how much more disk space your open edge environment will need in a year. And it, it might not be important, again, if you've only got one environment, but if you've got dev, test, QA, QA1, QA2, QA3, production, I don't know, whatever, you've got five or six environments, or again, if you're hosting and you've got 150 environments, that, that you're hosting, then having that information is is important, right? You, you, you're not just adding 10 gigabytes now. You're saying, oh, next year I'm going to need another 50 terabytes, right? You know? So I know disk space is cheap, but 50 terabytes is still some amount of money that you've got a budget for. So really, at the end of it all, ProTop is really, really good at telling you when any change to your system, whether it's code or whether it's infrastructure related or really anything that happens, if it perturbs the open edge environment, you'll see the, the, the perturbation in the graphs in ProTop and you'll see what the root cause is, right? So if you vMotion from a faster server to a slower server, there's a graph in ProTop that will show you, hey, your CPU speed went down right and your ability to execute code went down or if you if something changed in your san and your disk io uh, decreased same thing so there's a there's a, a a sync io metric that we do that measures how fast you can write to disk and if that metric changes significantly you can go back to the san administrator and say what did you do sunday at three o'clock in the afternoon because my ability to write to disk went from this level to this inferior level, and now it's causing performance problems. Hey, Paul. Yes. Do, do we ever have situations where the SAN administrator gave you more throughput? Do we ever have a situation where the SAN administrator gave us more throughput? 
I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. No, of course not. <laughs> no, but we did have a customer that actually took one piece of advice that we gave him and he went from virtualized to uh, bare metal, right? Because he needed the performance and he was shocked that it was so much faster when he went from virtualized, just shocked. He was looking at the numbers in ProTop and he's like, are those numbers correct? Yes, they're correct. We have other bare metal customers with similar numbers. If you go from virtualized to bare metal, your performance will increase drastically, right? You're just taking an entire layer off between you and the hardware, essentially. All right, single pane of glass view. Uh, who is anybody here an application partner? Couple of that, perfect. So really having this ability to see all of your customers in one single pane of glass view, right? And if you're an end user, it's the, the ability to see production, replication, DR, test, QA, being able to see all of your open edge environments on one single pane of glass view is amazing. And it's another thing that you don't realize you miss until you have it and then it gets taken away from you. So having this ability when a customer calls you and you already know what the problem is because you've already been alerted to the problem, right? You can see the problem already and you can tell the customer, we know we're already logged into your system. We're already fixing the problem. Or if you're an end user, it's the same thing, right? There's some deadlock somewhere going on and something is not printing because someone locked a record. You get the alert that says, oh, this user's been blocked for 22 minutes, right? You go look, what is the user doing? He's running this code. He's blocked by Bob. Bob went for a cigarette. No, he didn't. But, you know, Bob went for a, we're in Europe. That's why Bob went for a smoke and a coffee and a cigarette. Exactly, right? So Bob went for a coffee and a cigarette. He left his screen open in a transaction. He's blocking poor Martin from printing his invoice, right? Protop tells you, Martin is blocked, who's blocking him? Bob is blocking him. What's Bob doing? He's smoking, no, he won't tell you he's smoking. <laughs> he's in this or that screen or something, right? And you can send that alert to tech support who will try to call Bob. You could automatically kill the user, right? So Protop can, can execute any script as a response to an alert. So you can say, screw Bob, he can start all over again when he gets back kick him out of the system so that Martin can continue his work, essentially. All right? All that, again, built into ProTalk. All right? But have... Whoa, 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 whoa. You have the ability to write that script. <coughs> that, that script is not built into ProTalk. There's no default action to kill Bob. Yes. Thank God. <laughs> the comment from the peanut gallery is there is no default action to kill Bob, which is why Bob is still alive today. But you have the ability to do anything you want, including killing the user. <laughs> What's that? Oh, is that okay? All right, thanks. All right, number six. You get to benefit from everything we learn from all 10,000 databases that we monitor. Why? Because... First of all, ProTop already encompasses our 30 plus years of experience, right? Everything we learn, we put into ProTop. But then everything that our customers learn, right? Because at some point with 10,000 databases monitored, there's always something coming up and we're like, oh, well, that would be a cool new metric to add to ProTop. And so rather than having, you know, scripts in, in uh, Nagios that covers 10 things, right? Well, ProTop covers over a thousand things. And then every time someone does something new or implements something new, or it's 12.8.4, which has some new thing, and then it trips somebody up, we find out about it. It goes into the pile. And eventually we add it into ProTop. I don't want to say we add it right away because there's a pile of features into ProTop, but it does make its way into ProTop. So you get to take advantage of other people's events that happen in their environments and especially when you have people who are on you know 12.8 cutting edge and you're not quite there yet by the time you get there you're already taking advantage we've already added the metrics or the whatever that we have to do 
for monitoring those those things all right and again we just we learn something new every week so your monitoring is always at a cutting edge assuming you're updating protop if you're one of those people who forgets to update protop then i can't help right you still got to update protop whenever you, a new release comes out number five uh, i mentioned this earlier but it's having easy access to guys like tom or myself we, we only work with ProTop customers. We do not do consulting work for non-ProTop customers, all right? And we, we don't nickel and dime. So once you're a ProTop customer, you're in the family, you have easy access to our entire team when you have any questions, any concerns. And again, the, really the important thing that we say is if it's going to be billable, we have to tell you first, you have to approve it first, then we'll do billable work. But as long as we don't tell you it's billable, it's not billable, we're just happy to help you as much as we can. All right? And, and again, super important for us that we keep those lines of communications open as much as possible. I'm doing good. Number four, look, it's the right tool for the job. And a lot of times, you know, you say the plumber shows up and all he's got is a screwdriver and duct tape. Now, I'm a big fan of duct tape but it can't fix everything in the world, right? You need the right tools for the right job. And, and the comment we get from new ProTop users is they didn't realize how blind they were until they started ingesting the data from ProTop. And all of a sudden they're seeing things that a lot of times they suspected, but they didn't know before. And now there it is in black and white in front of them on the graphs right, in the alerts, and all of that is built into ProTop, right? They just didn't realize it. And again, a lot of people have these tools that'll generate data. I was just on a call the other day with a prospect, and they were saying, oh, yeah, we, we, we do collect all of this data. I'm like, great. And what happens when you need to use it? And they're like, well, it's in this system called GRW. I don't know what he said, you know, and we have to extract the data and then, you know, and he's like, we only actually ever look at it like once a year. I'm like, okay, that's great. <laughs> no, that's what I'm competing against. The system you can't extract data from because it's too difficult and you're in a crisis situation and now you've got to figure out how to get the data out of the system that's collecting it and then figure out how to analyze and come to some conclusion from the data, right? Here, the data is always there, always in front of you. And again, probably the coolest thing we, count, we have data from one minute to three years, and accessing that data takes seconds. So if you say, show me a year of data, you count one, two, poof, the data is there. You want to zoom in? I'll show you guys if you come by the booth later. You can zoom in on a small piece of data. Okay, I really want to know what happened Sunday afternoon. You just grab Sunday afternoon, you highlight it on the graph, it zooms into Sunday afternoon. And again, you can zoom in down to the minute if that's what you want with ProTop. <laughs> and this one is good. Like, how many of you have a process where when there's a, a P, we call it a P1 event or a, a high severity event, everyone gets on a Teams call, right? Does, does that sound familiar, right? So you, you, you declare a, a, a severity one event, a sysadmin, a DBA, application specialist, SAN admin, network admin, four directors, three you know, vice presidents and a CTO all get on a Zoom call at the same time, right? And then everyone is, you hear them clicking away. They're like, Martin, report back. How about you? Oh, we're all green. It's all good. Libor, how about you? Oh, the database is fine, right? And then eventually someone's like, oh, wait. Oh, no, no, it's not. So we, we, we have a customer that uh, not a customer, hopefully we'll soon become a customer, I'll say, but um, they had a problem. Uh, it took them five hours to diagnose the problem. They were down for five hours. You cannot count the cost that it is for this company to be down for five hours. Do you know how long it took to fix the problem? Five minutes, literally five minutes to fix the problem. Five hours of downtime, why? And we've been talking to this prospect for some time now. And so, of course, the conversation got reopened again. Why? Because the VP knew, he knew that ProTop would have warned them about the problem two weeks early. So they would have, the problem would have never occurred because we would have caught it two weeks and then we would have escalated the alerts, 
higher and higher, and they would have never, ever had the issue, but they were down for five hours, right? And so the first thing that Protop does is it eliminates finger pointing. So if it's a sand problem, Protop will say it's a sand problem. It'll show you in the graph that your sand performance went <coughs> like this, right? If it's a network problem, we have you know multiple network monitoring graphs. And again, I'll show them to you because they're not like Nagios network monitoring graphs. We really monitor the infrastructure from a uniquely open edge perspective. And we'll show you that your ability to query the database went <coughs> like this. And then I can say, well, you have a network problem, something changed, right? And all of that really is just built in. And, and what that means is instead of getting 10 people on a call, trying to figure out whose fault it is, and then 20 minutes later, coming in and fixing the problem, instead you get an alert that says, this is the problem, it's Martin's problem. Martin, you need to fix this problem. So we don't need to get 20 people on a call. We don't need to scramble to try to find the root cause of the problem. If it's code, it's code. If it's infrastructure, it's infrastructure. Protop will tag it, will show you what the root cause is, and you can immediately move towards the solution. Number two, we're almost done. And this comes back to the gentleman here we were talking to. You know, your scripts are great and you're running them in Zabbix or Cron, right? And really what they do is they cover the last seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 events, right? We, we hear this all the time. Something happens and they're like, we don't want this to happen again. We write a script that monitors for that one thing. We put the script in Cron, it runs every five minutes. A month later, something else happens. We write a new script, we put that script in Cron, and then what happens, the guy who wrote the script leaves the company. Nobody knows where the scripts are. They don't really know how they run. And then somebody else has to come in and either repair the scripts or change the scripts or add scripts to them. They don't know what they're doing. And that's how all of this stuff kind of falls into the, that, you know, that arcane world of the DBA, right? To, and what the DBA does. So here we take all of that, forget about that, you need a tool that does that. And, and honestly, this is what we do for a living. It's not what you do for a living. So leave the monitoring to the people who do monitoring for a living. And the number one, this is the most important one. And that's really transitioning your team from reactive break fix, right? That's what most companies are. They're reactive. It's break fix. Something breaks and you fix it. And we want you to transition from that reactive break fix mentality to a proactive preventative methodology, right? Let's alert ahead of time. Let's be proactive. Let's fix the problem so that the business never even knows that there was a problem. And so Transitioning you from reactive to proactive is really the number one purpose of ProTop and the number one reason to put ProTop into your enterprise.